Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm back with Fate Carnival Phantasm episode number 8. Alright, the previous episode, um, it's it was divided into two parts. The first part was the Tsukihime portion where we see Arset trying to feed Shiki uh, homemade cook, home cooked stuff and a lot of shenanigans happened and she like by the end of it she was basically piling up the ingredients on top of the fire and just like cooking it randomly and uh, served it to shiki so but the main thing is obviously that it's the thought that comes so <laughs> and i don't know whether shiki ate it or not but yeah so <laughs> that was the first part the second part was the fate part where we see media as a housewife you know doing stuff for soichiro and uh, you know doing small little stuff that she can do uh since her crafting is very good she made him a charm which increased his luck so much that he basically won everything <laughs> he won like uh, a lot of money he lo won a uh, lottery yeah and uh, a trip to some place you know like all that stuff uh and <laughs> by the end of it uh <laughs> Uh, he said tries to you know expose media about you know his her um hobbies of you know the the, the saber plush uh, the, the saber figurines and everything that she has <laughs> while socio was like nah it's fine like i like and he even brought her like a ring and everything told tells her like let's go to a trip all that stuff so it's nice seeing media happy you know um <laughs> like at least she's happy in the spin-offs like unfortunately the main <laughs> franchise She's very unlucky in each and every part. But yeah, anyways, let's get started. This is episode number eight. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. What? Oh, it's recording. Okay. Wait, who's this speaking? Whose voice is this? <laughs> My God. <laughs> okay. Some random dude brings in like a camera, starts recording. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, that it's pretty much confirmed. Um, Matsukai no Yoru is getting, uh, I think, a movie or is it like an anime? I'm not sure, but it is getting something, some kind of adaptation. Like I would love to see it, and I'm sure it's going to come out. Probably it'll take a lot of, quite a bit of time. I'm sure of it. Probably six or seven months. And if it's a movie, it'll even take more time to for the Blu-ray to come out. So I'm guessing. The visual novel fan translation is going to finish by that time. I really want to read the novel first because like I generally I really prefer the novel than the anime counterpart because you know the novel like there's a lot more uh, what do you call it um, uh, importance in the story and it, it feels amazing like Type Moon novels are visual novels are just fantastic. Uh, so I would love to read the novel first, then watch the anime or the movie. I really hope the fan translation, like, you know, ends before that. I think it will. King of the Wild. Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> I remember this part. This was so cute. Oh my god. Save a lion. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. This is amazing. King of Knights. <laughs> oh my god, this this is 
Oh my god. <laughs> Again, sacrificed. <laughs> she ate him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh boy, this is this is one of the best part of Carnival Phantasm. Oh, this person. Recording them. <laughs> Saber line is also there. Unexpected day, okay. Oh! The maid all no. The maid uh, it's not altar. Charisma B. Saber at work. Oh, Rin is here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rent? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Um <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Bring me everything. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Guys might be. Yeah. <laughs> this is temporary only. Oh my god. Oh my god, here he is. <laughs> Just throws in a Throws in a gold bar. <laughs> oh no. Okay, stop. Don't don't pull that. <laughs> oh boy. Mm. My god. I've never seen Gilgamesh actually smile like that ever before. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? Six. Oh my god. <laughs> Zo, can you say? Oh. Jump! Okay, don't smash the. Oh my god! <laughs> Keep it up. Yeah. Oh boy. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, here we go. <laughs> okay, maid altar is here. Maid altar is here. There you go. Just shove it in her face, in his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
We are barely getting started. <laughs> I'm just hungry. Give her hamburgers. Hamburgers. Oh my god. Oh my god, everyone's feeding her now. I'm <laughs> so pressed. Oh my god, Gilgamesh. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it's basically because it's carnival phantasm. Oh boy. Wow, she became a... <laughs> 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 oh my god wow yeah service industries okay okay not that <laughs> oh my god what is this The way her Ahoge came out. Uh -huh. Oh, this was for a gift. Oh, birthday. Okay. Oh, that's why she was working. <laughs> oh, pressure group. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Uh, oh wow, that was <laughs> wow, that was a really wholesome portion. Okay, um, <laughs> I kind of remembered bits and pieces of this, but not everything. Um, so yeah. <laughs> oh boy. This is a complete saber focused episode. Saber lion, you know, um, the normal saber, saber altar. Oh, wait a minute. So I, I think maybe Fate Grandor came up with the, <coughs> you know, FGO has like a servant, uh, which is a uh, saber made altar rider. You know, in, 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 I think it was the first or was it the second summer event that she came out? I don't remember. It's either the first or the second um so like i'm i'm guessing they actually got like you know the design inspiration from carnival phantasm and then they made that version because it's very similar you know like especially the maid outfit and even like you know her uh holding a broom in her hand like in one of her ascensions she's basically holding a broom <laughs> and waxy with the broom i think but obviously the last ascension art is completely different she's holding a sniper rifle i don't know where she gets that from but <laughs> so yeah that was basically from this i guess because carnival phantasm came out a lot earlier than fate grand order so yeah maybe they already had the design in mind and then just okay <clears throat> okay let's see taiga sensei oh nero is here <laughs> yeah, flower of Olympia. <laughs> Red saber. Olymp. <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> oh, extra was delayed. That's her, just how her design. <laughs> Letting, wait, what? Oh yeah, I never really, 
thought about that before. Nero's outfit is really weird, isn't it? <laughs> Season 3. <laughs> okay, I never thought about it. Now that I'm seeing it again. Nero's outfit, especially, you know, the... The... the the lower portion is really kind of has a weird character, uh, weird clothing design, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> like a see-through skirt. What is that? <laughs> but as as she said, like that's just her, you know. <laughs> She's doing that purposefully. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. This episode, uh, we had a lot of sabers in this episode, you know. And um, the normal saber, uh, obviously. Um, <laughs> and in the end, we also get narrow. Uh, all right here in this episode um okay the first part was the first part i completely remember the saber lion part it was it was one of the most cutest things i've ever seen when i watched carnival phantasm for the first time and that's why it's always like you know ingrained in my memory and i probably won't even forget this ever so <laughs> you know saber in that little um uh you know lion outfit my god and <laughs> oh, that was that was really cute, and obviously, unfortunately, like sacrifices had to be made, you know, for uh, Saber's cuteness to <laughs> be expressed more. Lancer had to give away his life again. So, but I guess everything for cuteness, you know. <laughs> like basically, <laughs> like the funny thing here is, uh, it is basically implied implied that the Saber ate Lancer completely. You know, like that means he, he, she just killed him. And still, the whole scene is so lighthearted and so funny and cute that, it, like, you don't even think about that. Like, my God, oh. <laughs> like that's some next level camouflage, you know? Like they they just they just like hit that whole like gruesome situation of you know Saber just eating Lancer with that cute little exterior and you know the antics that Saber was doing. We we don't even think about that. It's just, we just think that, yeah, Lancer is dead now. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, so yeah, that, obviously, as I said, that, that scene was deeply ingrained in my memory. That's why I didn't forget that. The, la the next part, which is uh, Saber working, Saber at work. Mm. <clears throat> I, remembered, I remembered few portions of that. I do remember Saber working. And I think I did, yeah, I did remember her becoming her altar form, but nothing other than that. So... <clears throat> <laughs> so she she basically so she comes here to work because of uh to yeah to to get some money for uh, Shiro's uh, birthday present and uh, <coughs> yeah now <laughs> when she was her like you know the normal form like her saber form obviously she was trying to you know like work properly and everything but like like you know her 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 charisma was so high that everyone was like oh i'm going to follow you i'm going to like you know listen to what you say and everything but everything kind of gets messed up as soon as gilgamesh comes in as always he's haughty and he just like you know he, <laughs> he's rich he's haughty he, he knows what to do and he just comes in throws away all the gems and he's like ah oh, this like, take this like you know all of you common rubble all of you mongrels <laughs> Like, be thankful that I, I even came to this uh, place and I'm eating your food here. <laughs> oh boy. And obviously Saber was annoyed. Like, this really reminded me of, you know, like, the fate route. As I remember, uh, Saber being equally annoyed there as well with Gilgamesh constantly trying to, you know, like, court Saber. Uh, because, yeah, as I remember in, in the fate route, I think Gilgamesh was the most insistent in, like, you know, making Saber... Uh, his wife or something something like that you know like in in the fate route in unlimited blade works nah he wasn't like you know like he, he wasn't that persistent he still had that weird thing but he wasn't that persistent and obviously in heaven's field we all know gilgamesh like i'm sure everyone knows this by now you know like it, it's not a spoiler anymore uh gilgamesh dies just <laughs> so so obviously in that part yeah so <coughs> Yeah, so like the fate route like showed the most like you know the the whole like Gilgamesh being not attracted but you know her, obviously because he like I, I remember the fate zero scene like you know that that scene probably made you know like the the whole banquet of the kings when uh, Gilgamesh 
uh, Saber and Iskandar were there. Like that's, I think that's where his whole weird thing started of being attracted to Saber in a very weird and twisted way. So <laughs> that kind of like, you know, goes to the fate route and continues in the fate route. So yeah, like this, this, this part really reminded me of that, you know, her, him constantly harassing Saber all the time. <laughs> And, you know like weird things but here obviously he was a lot more normal not normal but he was a lot more uh you know yeah like not normal i won't call this normal but he was a lot more <clears throat> less insistent and a lot more in a where weirdly uh wholesome manner he was kind of like you know trying to do that <laughs> But obviously, Saber was annoyed, you know, like the the, the, the last, <laughs> the last part of like, you know, where he says that in take out, I'll take you, my God, like, <laughs> Saber, like, you know, it, it's over, Saber loses everything there, he just, she just yanks out his, uh, her um, <clears throat> Ahoge and becomes her alter form. And as I said, I think this, this form really inspired Fate Grand Order to uh make the alternative uh you know like rider form of saber saber made altar in fgo in one of the summer events because it's completely the same um <coughs> so yeah he becomes uh, she becomes her alternative form saber altar and starts like you know bossing around everyone and like you know like everyone is feeding her now <laughs> instead of her feeding everyone as a like you know waitress it's, it's the reverse is happening. I'm surprised that they did not bring out some hamburgers. <laughs> but I guess this obviously this I guess this this is a diner, isn't it? I I, I doubt they'll have hamburgers here. Probably that's why. But <laughs> yeah, he like, you know they were all feeding her and everything, and Saber is like, oh, like you know, like I'm the leader here, like some kind of like a gang leader or something. She's like, come with me, I'll lead you guys. And everyone was like, yeah, I'll follow you forever, this, that. <laughs> Gilgamesh completely changed his personality. <laughs> Obviously, that's unthinkable. And I think this is probably the first time I ever made, I've ever seen Gilgamesh making a face like that. And I probably would never see in the future even again. This, this is only in Carnival Phantasm. Like, you know, Gilgamesh actually smiles like that in like a weird, you know, like goofy way. <laughs> completely smitten in, in that manner. Oh boy. And Shiro comes, uh, not Shiro, sorry, Saber comes home with, as you, you know, like with, a, with a bottle, with an alcohol bottle on her, you know, uh, not alcohol, sorry, sake, yeah, sake bottle on her shoulders. Just comes in, like, Shiro, I'm home. <laughs> Shiro comes in. <laughs> she was like, oh, Saber, welcome home. And everything just it kind of goes away and in that moment as soon as she's she's shiro <laughs> even her ahoge pops out and she becomes a normal self my god uh like <laughs> okay so yeah then she br gives him his present obviously something that shiro would like a pressure cooker and like this this kills two birds in one stone you know like she she brought shiro a gift and at the same time she will probably make a lot more food using the pressure cooker so yeah it, it works well like you know two birds in one stone uh saber is going to get more food and also shiro is happy like that that was a good decision uh, you know she, uh, saber made to actually bring a pressure cooker <laughs> uh, uh, oh my god so yeah Okay, that, this is one of the best uh, episodes. I really like this episode. Oh my god, this is so amazing. Like, there are a few episodes that I really like. Uh, one was uh, the uh, Bazaar Kun goes to uh, goes on an errand. That one, the first errand of Bazaar Kun. That one was fantastic. I love that. And uh, this one as well. You know, like I really love this episode. And uh, there are a few episodes that I kind of remember are going to come in the future. In the uh, you know, which is one of them is I remember this. There had been like a a race yeah a race uh one of the races you know where, where everyone like you know <clears throat> all the servants and the masters kind of race in cars but that one was another uh one of my favorites when i watched it because it is there are still hazy memories of that in my mind that's why i remembered it it was so like you know i liked it so much so i'm, I'm looking forward to that episode <laughs> And yeah. Oh, in the end, in the end, uh, we get Nero's little cameo, kind of appearance, not cameo appearance. <coughs> so, 
I think uh, this is like, I, yeah, I think this is like the first time that it was Nero was animated or something because he she talks about something about extra and extra is like a obviously we know what extra is extra is like a I think it was a PS2 or a PSP game something like that so <clears throat> extra and extra extra has been translated uh, I still have not played it however um i would love to actually play extra when uh you know i think there's like an, another remake also coming out of extra i, I think i think i've heard about it like you know a, a game a remake game i don't know i'll have to check that out um if it comes out you know like if if extra really gets a remake i would love to play that and uh like you know i i never played extra because i knew that after extra x there's like extra ccc which doesn't have any translation at all so like you know i did not I, I was actually waiting for it to get a translation but it doesn't seem like it would ever get one so i'm kind of sad about that because i i, I would love to get into the extra series but yeah like but if if like you know if, if a remake actually happens i'm not sure about that I, I think i've heard somewhere like them saying that extra is getting a remake a game remake so if a remake if it does has to, happens then maybe there is chance of extra cc getting a remake as well uh, you know, with with English translation, so I would love to see that someday happening. But anyways, um, <clears throat> so yeah, we get to see Nero here, and <laughs> as always, Nero Nero is full of charisma and you know, like, <laughs> oh boy, I really like Nero's character. Like, kind of funny to think about because you know, Nero in her, not her, but in his actual, like you know, uh, history is not such a character you know if you know what i mean he he did quite a lot of questionable things as far as i can remember you know like he, he was not liked as an emperor at all and uh, that's why like it's really weird that in in fate nero is one of the most lovable characters you know <laughs> so yeah Anyways, um, so yeah, and this I think this is the first time I actually I I've, I've obviously seen her character design, but I think I've actually like kind of thought about it properly. That it is kind of weird how her like you know dress design is, especially the lower part. Like extremely weird now that I'm seeing it again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but as Nero says that yeah, this is something that I'm doing deliberately. <laughs> Fool, it's not see through. Um, I'm letting people see. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> flax her skirt <laughs> oh my god wow as always Nero is you know amazing and uh, yeah that was the end uh, I really like the little like you know the ending portions where Taiga just gives her own opinions about stuff <laughs> and weird antics oh boy so yeah that was it so that's my reaction to episode number eight of fate carnival phantasm so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of fate carnival phantasm so until then goodbye and have a nice day